I work with a group of people, so we have a set designer, Flores, who's here, and um, two girls for the, the, the clothing and a girl for hair and makeup, and then the post-production guy. And this group of people, you know, I feel like a director of, they come from the film world, except for the post-production guy. And, but I feel I'm more like a, let's say, a director nowadays than, as, than a photographer. Uh, you treat, we treat photography as we are uh, treating it as a film or a short film. And this is um, um, the self-portrait I made for my 14th birthday. Do you believe it? It's me? Yeah, because this I think is very intriguing. Uh, that you can tell something with a photograph and you all believe it. But I think photog it is me, by the way. Um, but photography, for my photography, is uh, very much um, inspired by lying and not telling the truth or truth or uh, uh, telling a fantasy. Not a very nice project to work on, and that gave me an idea um, for my series, Rain was this assignment that was given by Ingo Maurer, uh, a German uh, light uh, designer, and he asked me to, uh, to react on his uh, design of the Campbell soup lamp that you see above the oven. And um, I didn't want to go back or do something with Andy Wall, which is very easy, and I had to do something American, that's what he asked. So, um, but I was always, uh, let's say, charmed uh, uh, by the works of uh, the illustrations and paintings of Norman Rockwell. So I, I, I started to, to uh, explore this and then this picture came up. And this was such a nice thing to photograph that I thought, I want to do something more with that, uh, with this Norman Rockwell. And, uh, at this time, the 9-11 uh, disaster had happened and um, I was quite angry with some little voices in my society saying that uh, it was good a thing like that had happened. And I, said, I, th I thought, no, that's not, you know, I really hate what had happened because whatever we c uh, in Europe can think and say about the United States, um, it is the country that's defending, for me, uh, the freedom of speech and the freedom of, to be who I am and to do what I want. So I wanted to do something and create something to celebrate this and to celebrate this freedom. And uh, we had this working title for this series, it was called Happy. But when I was in the studios um, with all the models dressed up and they had to act happy. I became so incredible and happy. <coughs> because, I don't know, it didn't work. So, but at a certain point, um, I made a Polaroid and said to the models, well, please don't act anymore, just stay there and don't do anything anymore. I'm just checking the light, you know. And then I had it. Then I knew this is what I want to make. This and so, the series Happy turned into Rain. It is because the series Rain and after that Hope, they dealt about the moment between action and reaction. Because I thought our society was at that moment between action and reaction. Then I made Hope. And I, made, I called it Hope because I think that in Hope the technique and the acting and the casting is on every level, it's a little better and because I learned from rain. And in hope, I also uh, focused on portraits. This picture for me is very dear um, because in this uh, comes together what I want to say by how the eyes, how important the eyes are for me. Because you can tell to the girl, uh, she has to take it over, you know, so you can tell everything to them, but at a certain point, you, uh, you have to let her do the work. And um, when I said to her, can you stand over there? She immediately took this pose. And I only had to direct her the way where she had to look. 
And um, see, this picture is also very dear to me because it also shows for me, um, I still remember the moment when I make a good picture, I fall in love with my model, you know, and for a few minutes, for a few minutes. And I think this is a very important moment when I'm photographing. So this is a grief. Um, and I was, I wanted to travel more in time. I didn't want to stay in the 40s and the 50s of Norman Rockwell and Edward Hopper, but I wanted to move forward. And I was looking in books and, and uh, photo books, and then I found this book uh, about the Kennedys, Jacqueline and um, JFK. And I was really struck by it, also by their social environment. So I, I wanted to move in time and in emotion. So from the moment between action and reaction, I wanted to go to the first moment of reaction. And drapes, for me, represent the shadows in the drapes, represent, let's say for me, bars, like in a jail. And what you see outside, you see vaguely, the trees of a beautiful gardens. I like to play with that idea that you have this beautiful surrounding and surrounded by wealth and beauty and that you still feel very terrible.